What's good everybody? Welcome back to Joe's Card Stash and see, I told you I'd be back quick. I got another video for you. This one's gonna be fun. This is a grading video, one of my favorite videos to make. Um, I got five cards back from PSA. Uh, it's their uh, $50 service. They've had them for about a month and a half, two months. Um, super excited, all UFC cards. Um, I wanna show those cards off to you guys, show you the grades I got, talk about why I graded them. And then uh, I figured that was kind of a quick video, so of course I went to the local hobby shop and bought some packs of select, some more hobby packs of select, uh, just because why the hell not? Uh, the last ones I opened did pretty well, so I want to keep opening some. So we'll do the grade reveal, we'll do the packs. It's going to be super fun. Thanks for watching as always. Um, please, again, uh, you know, support the channel. If you have not subscribed, subscribe, uh, hit the notification bell comment, like this video, all that stuff. Um, you know, if, if, if any of you guys are in Facebook groups or discords that have to do with UFC cards, please, you know, link my videos. I'm really trying to spread the word, get more eyes on these things. And that would be huge. You know, I know a lot of you are, you know, doing Instagram stories and just reposting and I really appreciate all the love. And, uh, you know, that's one place where I haven't really reached out too much is, you know, all the discords and Facebook groups that are out there. And I know there's a big community that, that you know, would be interested in this. So share my videos on those as well. Um, and that's it, enough of that stuff. Let's look, at, uh, let's look at the grades I got. Okay, let's look at some slabs. Um, as I said, this is a PSA $50 submission. Uh, it took about a month and a half to get these back. Uh, there now is a $30 uh, price point that you can send in to where it's, um, I think it's like three month turnaround. And um, I would probably, when I submit in the future, I'm probably gonna separate some things for $30, some things for $50. Uh, at the time, all I had was $50. So, um, you know, there's some PC in here. There's some things I wanna flip. Um, I have already looked at the grades, uh, already opened the box because I wanted it easy to get to and stuff like that. Uh, but you guys haven't seen the grades, so it'll be a surprise to you. Um, so yeah, let's let's just, take a look at them. Uh, there we go. We have five cards, as I said, they're all UFC. Um, now I'm going to go over each one, like why I got it graded and etc. So the first card is a Cheeto Veris card, as you can see. Uh, this is a PC card. I'm actually going to move these over so you can't tell things right away. Um, so yeah, so this was a PC card. Uh, those of you know, uh, I'm friends with Cheeto and I collect all his cards. This was actually the first Cheeto card I got. Um, he was printed last year, not in Prism. He wasn't in Prism when it first came out, but he was in Select, but just as an auto. So this, this was you know, pretty much the first card I found of his, which was a, a Select 21 Auto. And uh, I didn't pull it, I wish I had, but you know, I tried to, but never pulled him. So I bought it off eBay. I think I spent like 35, 40 bucks. But um, you know, no matter what, this one, this one, I'm not worried about the grade that much. This is, you know, something that I just wanted for myself. I wanted it protected. I'm gonna keep it. You know, I, I collect all those cards, and you know, I'm gonna get them graded. So let's see what we got. It's a dope card. I love it when he had that blonde haircut. He was looking super sick. I love Select. I love the photography and just like the way they design their cards. I think it's beautiful. And uh, let's see what we got. One, two, three. Gem Mint 10, that's what I'm talking about. So I bought this off eBay and I've been trying really hard to work on my, my eye as far as being able to tell things on eBay, like just looking at eBay photos, which can be awful, like trying to figure out, could that card be a 10? You know, is it centered? Do I see any surface scratches, all that stuff? And uh, this one looked really good out of all my choices. So I bought it and it looks like I'm doing pretty good so far. So. This is, yeah, like I said, this is a PC card, um, and I'm super stoked to have it, PSA 10. Next card, okay. This is the iconic card from uh, 2021 Prism, the Hamzat Chmaev rookie card. This is just a base. Uh, when I started collecting Hamzat, he was already really, really high priced. His hype was through the roof. So all I can afford is the base, but even the base cards, I mean, you know, you could get these things for 50 bucks and you know, if they PSA 10, they're 150 bucks. So it's a quick way to make a hundred bucks. And that's what was my plan with this. I started buying up as many um, 
base cards that I thought looked really good online that I could, and this is one of them. So let's see what we got. There's that card. Love this card. I mean, love the pose, love the design, everything about it. And we got a Gem Mint 10 again. Um, this one I'm flipping. This was totally for a flip just to make some money, uh, see if I could do it. Um, and I'm very happy with it. I'm going to put it up for an auction. And I think these are going for about 150 bucks. He just released today that he's going to fight Nate Diaz. So that could even, you know, bump this up a little bit because he's been out of the news for a while. So um, maybe I get a little bit more, you know, close to 200 would be amazing. Then I'd make, well, I bought it for 50, 50 bucks a grade. I'd make 100 bucks if it went to 200, which would be great. Um, you know, anything you can make from grading is, is a good, a good thing. And there's my Hamzat and I have another Hamzat. This one was a little more expensive. Uh, I wanted to get into his numbered stuff, but I just couldn't afford it. So this is his select premier tricolor, uh, not numbered, but still it's a little more rare than a base card. I think I bought this for about 150 bucks. Uh, if it tends not many have sold, but I think it's about 300 bucks, especially now with this fight coming up. If I wait till this fight, I could probably get 300, 350. So, you know, again, I can make about 100, maybe 150 bucks on this if it tends. But, you know, these are, these are kind of hard to grade, so we'll see. So, it's a beautiful card. I mean, I really like these tricolors. Um, they reflect light, like, really nice, if I can get it to look right. But, um, you know... I'm slightly attached to this card too, so I may just list it for a really high price, and if it doesn't sell, just keep it, because, you know, I want a Hamzat rookie. He's one of my favorite fighters. I'm just trying to find the right one for me. I really wanted something serial numbered, so maybe if I sell both these and I can make enough money, I'll buy something serial numbered. Um, but let's see what we got. Hamzat Tricolor Premier Level gets a Gem Mint 10. Dude, I'm three for three so far. Um, yeah, same thing. Saw this online, bought it. Looked good, looked centered. Usually with these kind of cards, all you can do is look at the centering. And then once I got the, the card in hand, I checked the surface and it looked really good. So super happy with this. You know, again, for the right price, anybody wants this, you know, if anyone sees this video and wants to make an offer, I'm willing to sell it. it it's not that, I'm not that attached to it, but I'm not, you know, just gonna give it away. So another Hamzat Gem Mint Tin. Next card is my first one of one. Uh, I think a lot of you saw this video. This was the white sparkle packs that I got from Panini. Um, I have a video where I pull this card. Again, first one of one, it's right there. Uh, Rob Font, sadly, Cheeto beat him up right before I got this. So, you know, his market's pretty down, but he's a great fighter. And uh, I think if I hold on to it enough for long enough, you know, it could rebound. It's a one of one. I mean, you really, you can't go wrong with a one of one. Uh, another thing about this card is it looked perfect. I mean, Prism's pretty easy to, to gauge as far as centering and stuff like that. And the card out of all the white sparkles I got looked the best. So I'm really hoping this gets a 10. There it is. It's an auto. All the autos in white sparkles are one of ones. So as soon as I saw I got an auto, I knew it was a one of one. And uh, let's see what we got. One, two, three. Gem Mint 10, there we go. So, yeah, Rob Font, hopefully he can rebound. Hopefully maybe he gets another fight. I mean, he was, he was really, really good until he, he, he fought Cheeto, who, you know, obviously I'm really high on. So, you know, I'm going to hold on to this, see what he can do. Again, a one of one is always going to sell. It's always going to be a premium. Uh, I'd love to sell this for enough to, you know, pay for the entire um, subscription uh, to... Panini Instant where I got these white sparkle packs. That would be really cool. But again, super happy. Uh, yeah. So 444. Four, four. This is the last card. This is my girl, Valentina Sevchenko. This is one of my favorite pulls. Um, I got this in a break uh, with, a, I think I made a video about this as well. When Prism first came out, I got this with, in a break. And it is... Valentina's Mojo Auto, Champions Auto, and I just think this is a beautiful card. I love this card. Um, she's one of my favorite fighters too, so, you know, 
This one is going to be hard to let go. Uh, again, the right price maybe, but for the most part, I want this card. I, I would hold on to this for a long time. She's one of the greatest female fighters ever. And, you know, something numbered out of 25, I love her auto, her auto's clean. Uh, so let's see what we got. One, two, three. Ah, oh, we got a nine. One nine. I went uh, four, four, five. Not bad. That's a great gem rate. I mean, I'm, I'm doing a really good job of picking out these cards. I had heard that these mojos are hard to grade. It, it's a little off-centered, and I knew that. And honestly, I think the reason I got it graded was because I knew if it nined, it'd probably be easier for me to keep it because it wouldn't be worth as much. And I just, I kind of want to own this. So what I think I'm going to do is list it on eBay for, you know, a high price. And if no one ever takes the bait, it's mine and I love it. And it, you know, I've, I've wanted a Sepchenko card for a while and I'm perfectly happy with this one. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. Again, if anybody's interested, hit me up, hit me up with some offers. Uh, I'll listen, but this one might just stay in my collection. So that's it. Um, pretty good. Four tens and one nine. So, you know, let's see if I can fit them all in here, maybe. Uh, kind of. But, you know, I think that's a pretty good grading result. You know, I love grading. It's, it's one of the best ways to make money in the hobby, um, you know, as far as flipping cards go, because you never know, you know, even when guys have a great fight, sometimes their card prices go down because everyone lists their cards at the same time. But grading tends to really add value to cards. So I'm going to keep grading, especially as prices come down and, and keep working on my skills as far as seeing if things are, are nines and tens and seeing what I can do. And I'll make more videos about it. And hopefully you guys like these. Um, so that is our PSA grading portion. Now we're going to get into opening some packs. And uh, see what kind of uh, see what kind of luck I have there. Uh, my last select pack opening went really well, and I don't know if that's going to carry over, but hope so. All right, let's get into that. So H2 came out this week. Select H2. Um, a lot of people have been opening that, and when I went to the card shop, he had H2 boxes there that were about the same price as these hobby packs, and. Just to explain to you why I'm not opening it, um, I'm not a huge H2 fan. I don't love Disco Parallels. Uh, I don't think the odds are that great. For $100, you know, you get one or two numbered cards, no guaranteed autos. You, I think it's one or two autos per case. I would much rather buy, you know, four packs of Hobby, have a chance for autos once again, um, be able to get some tie dyes. You know, I just, I just don't love Disco Parallels. So. For me, it was an easy choice. I really like Hobby. One thing I will be doing, though, I don't know if you guys know, but um, Select came out in retail at Target this week. So I ordered three blaster boxes of those, and I will be reviewing those on the channel because those are interesting to me. They, you know, they have this mezzanine level that doesn't exist anywhere else, and there's some you know, really interesting like one-of-ones and golds that you can get in retail, which is pretty cool. So I'll be opening those, but no H2. Sorry, guys. You know, I'm, there's plenty of other videos out there with people opening H2. It's just not my favorite. Select H2 is just not my favorite product. So that is why I chose these hobby packs, and hopefully these are good. Um, there's actually a couple fat ones in here. You know, I dug through the the box and found you know the fatter packs, which should have uh, memorabilia cards, which I'm hoping are also autos. You know, those those memorabilia autos do really well. So you know, we'll see. Um, we'll do the fat pack at the end. I think that's the bottom pack. So we'll do the skinny packs first. So we got four packs and let's do a little pray. Here we go. Please give me a gold. Give me a tie dye. Give me a black. Why not? Um, I'm excited. I love so many cards in this product. Hopefully I can get one of them and let's do it. Okay. I'm going to Try to make it so you can't see the back card because that's always the hit. Okay, card number one, Michelle Watterson, who just lost last weekend. Karate hottie, fun to watch, but she did not win. Juliana Pena, oh, I didn't see what I have here. Oh my, is that a, I think I have an orange, which is out of 99, so that's pretty good. Uh, Juliana Pena, the champ. Grant Dawson rookie. I love that photo. Nothing like a flying knee photo. 
that thing is so dope and like some of the parallels like you know the golds or the tigers and stuff next card is a phenomenon mozart evolev Ev i think i said that right um super good rookie love to get that in a gold or something let's see if our i believe this is orange featherweight is it a rookie it is a rookie there's a rookie featherweight um God, that's a good question. I don't know. We're just going to have to go for it. Uh, I believe this is out of 99. Hopefully this is a big card. One, two, three. Austin Lingo. Okay. Is that gold? Out of 35. Is the orange out of 35? Wow. Well, we, all, we will sleeve that up. I don't know much about Austin Lingo, but a rookie out of 35 ain't bad. So... Pretty happy with that one. Um, if you guys know much about Austin Lingo, let me know. I don't. I uh, feel like I'm pretty versed, but I don't know much about him. All right, not bad. Uh, let's see what we got next. Okay, gonna close my eyes, flip it over so I don't see the back card. I see Dan Henderson on the top. Let's see, looks like we got a scope. Dan Henderson. Marcin Tybura, BJ Penn. I've actually photographed BJ Penn because he comes to the, the Ruka studio every once in a while. Really cool guy. And we got Israel Anasadnya and new um, insert. I haven't gotten many of those. And it looks like our scope is a rookie. Uh, who we got as far as Adrian Yanez scope. Another good rookie card. This, this, these packs aren't very, very bad at all. Um, Adrian Yanez, I've been hearing a lot of good stuff about, so happy to have a scope. Not numbered, but still a dope card. Two more packs. Let's see if we can keep this rookie luck going. Close my eyes. I don't see what the bottom card is. Let's see. It looks like a tricolor. Ooh, it looks like we got an auto too. Damn, man. I can't believe it. Um, one of the autos I'm really looking for, I don't know if this is it, but the Charles Oliveira auto in this is really freaking cool. It's the Octagon Action Auto, and it has him on the back of, I forgot who he climbed on the back of, but it's just a dope photo. I, I really like it, so that would be the one I'd really want. We got Daniel Rodriguez rookie, Jimmy Crute with his mullet, uh, Paul Craig rookie who's fighting this weekend. Good luck, Paul Craig. Hope you do good. And then we'll pull from the back for our tricolor. Andre Munoz, uh, rookie card. He looked really good the other night, too. He's another rookie I'm pretty high on. Um, man, this is the rookie packs. Can't go wrong with that. Andre Munoz, tricolor. And let's see what our auto is. That's the bottom. TTR, hmm, Octagon Action TTR. I don't know who TTR is, we'll just flip it. One, two, three, Tisha Torres. There we go. Eh, not the greatest in the world, but you know, a auto is an auto. Tisha Torres, Octagon Action. Still pretty good so far, and we got the fat pack last. So let's see what this does. So this is making me feel like this is probably not a um, auto, probably just a mem card, but let's see. We got the champ, Glover, who's not the champ anymore. Sorry, Yuri's the champ, but, and it looks like we have another um, tricolor. I don't think, this actually maybe doesn't have anything in it. Uh, Li, Jing, Li, Ji, Li Jing Lang, the leech. He had a great fight last weekend. Looked really good. Glad he was able to come back after that Hamzat ass whipping. Yair Rosenstruck. Alexander Volkanovsky, Premier. And our tricolor is... Oh, that's why it felt fat. Because the tricolor is kind of bent. Tricolor Premier... Featherweight, Amanda Nunez, the soon-to-be champ. 
This card is a little dinged up and bent, if you guys can tell that. That's, that's why it felt like a big fat card. But anyway, not bad. Let's go over the hits. Um, definitely not as good as last time. No silver octagon side, but still fun rip. I enjoy ripping this stuff and who knows, maybe I should have gone with that H2 box, you know, but this is what I got. We got a Tisha Torres auto, Amanda Nunez tricolor, Andre Munoz tricolor, Adrian Yanez rookie card, and Austin Lingo orange out of 35. That's probably the biggest card I got. Um, you know, let me know what you guys think. You think I, uh, I got some good cards? Let me know. Anyways, thanks again for watching. I got another, another video coming soon. Um, as always, so thankful for all you guys, all you guys that hit me up and talk to me about this stuff. It's so fun. And I'll see you next time.